Welcome to Critical Reviews. Today we're diving deep into the Intel Core i7-3770. While it has its fans, we're here to explore some critical points that might make you think twice before investing your hard-earned cash. Number 8. The i7-3770 is often criticized for its price. At around $356, it's not exactly a bargain. For that price, you might find newer processors that offer better performance and efficiency. Number 7. Speaking of efficiency, this chip can run quite hot. Many users report temperatures that can make you sweat, especially if you're not using a high-quality cooler. You might want to invest in a good cooling solution to avoid overheating. Number 6. The lack of overclocking capabilities is a bummer for enthusiasts. If you're looking to push your CPU to the limits, you'll need to look at the K-Series instead. This one is more of a plug-and-play type of chip. Number 5. Compatibility issues have been reported with certain motherboards. Some users found themselves in a pickle when their systems wouldn't boot. Always double-check compatibility before you buy. Number 4. The stock cooler that comes with the i7-3770 has received mixed reviews. Many users found it inadequate, leading to higher temperatures and noise levels. You might want to consider an aftermarket cooler right off the bat. Number 3. The performance, while decent, is starting to show its age. Released in 2012, it struggles to keep up with modern applications and games, especially if you're looking for high frame rates. Number 2. The integrated graphics are not impressive. If you're planning to game or do graphic-intensive tasks, you'll need a dedicated GPU. This chip won't cut it for high-end gaming. And finally, number 1. The resale value is quite low. If you're looking to upgrade in the near future, you might find that this processor doesn't hold its value well, making it a less appealing investment. So there you have it. The Intel Core i7-3770 has its strengths, but it's essential to weigh these critical points before making a purchase. Thanks for watching Critical Reviews, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more honest tech reviews.